Hi everyone, myself uh, Dr. Manjuna Tasi, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, RV College of Engineering, Bangalore, India. In this video, I would like to discuss about uh, the carbon fiber, which is most commercially uh, used in polymer composites uh, for engineering and spacecraft and defense uh, aerospace applications and its synthesis and uh, various steps involved in the manufacturing process will be discussed in this uh, video. What are carbon fibers? Carbon fibers are new breed of very high strength carbon materials which are having uh, the diameter of about uh, 5 to 10 micrometers and uh, containing about 92 percent carbon which is obtained uh, by controlled pyrolysis of polyacrylonitrile pan the polymer fibers or petroleum pitch this carbon fiber material is consisting of very thin filaments of carbon atoms okay that i will discuss uh, in the next slide when this carbon fiber is blended with some polymer polymeric resin and subjected to heat treatment or with pressure or in a vacuum and if it is made in the form of composite material it yields a very strong and lightweight material this carbon fiber has uh, very important properties it has a very high strength to uh, weight ratio very high rigidity high corrosion resistant it will not react uh, uh, with chemicals uh, like other uh, metals and uh, steel structures this has very high fatigue resistance, good tensile strength, and it is not uh, flammable, resistance to fire, high thermal conductivity, low coefficient of thermal expansion, and it's not a poisonous and biologically inert material. It is X-ray permeable, self-rubricating, and excellent uh, EMI shielding property. So because of all these peculiar properties and very important properties, this finds a uh, uh, large number of uh, applications especially in engineering uh, air, air, aircraft applications uh, sports goods automobiles etc let us look at uh, the preparation of carbon fiber carbon fiber is uh, prepared by various carbon sources but uh, in most of the cases they use uh, polyacrylonitrile polymer so pan actually they start from this material but i am also explaining how this pan is formed Pan is actually a polymer obtained from acrylonitrile monomer. So this is acrylonitrile. This is a nitrile. Acrylonitrile monomer, when it is polymerized, we will get a pan. To prepare carbon fiber, we start with this polymer. So this is the precursor used, polyacrylonitrile. This is polyacrylonitrile. It's a polymer. When this polymer, uh, this polymer is actually plastic in nature and it is flexible. It is because it's a linear and it is flexible. When it is subjected to oxidative stabilization at 200 to 300 degrees centigrade, controlled heating, one degree per minute, this plastic uh, pan transforms into non-plastic material. Okay, this happens. Uh, this is carried out in the presence of oxygen. During this oxidative stabilization, cyclization takes place. Means this uh, nitrile group, cyanide group, uh, undergo cyclization this one of the pi bond breaks down and form a cycle hexagonal ring like pyridine type of ring is formed so hence it loses its uh, plastic nature okay this is called oxidative stabilization converting from plastic to non-plastic this is the first step involved in the preparation of carbon fiber pan is converted to non-plastic then it is in an inert atmosphere it is subjected to dehydrogenation reaction okay so whatever the percentage of hydrogen which is present here that should be removed by dehydrogenation reaction uh, by heating uh, uh, to very slow rate uh, to a very high temperature of 1000 to 1400 centigrade so when you remove this hydrogen atom uh, hydrogen content here uh, see the single bond is converted to double bond if you are removing a uh, hydrogen atoms from this means you are increasing the percentage of carbon here it, it does not mean that you are adding carbon you are just removing the waste uh, hydrogen or unwanted hydrogen and hence the percentage of carbon increases this is called carbonization okay so 
So after carbonization, the last step is graphitization or denitrogenation. So this has to be carried out uh, in an inert atmosphere at about 2,500 degrees centigrade. So this uh, carbonized uh, pan start fusing in the form of it forms in the form of graphitic uh, carbon fiber. So it is almost equal to gra graphite, but this has uh, about 97% carbon and about 3% of carbon and nitrogen. That is the only difference between graphite and this. So this has a very high uh, uh, high tensile strength and uh, high, uh, very lightweight, uh, strongest uh, material. So this is called uh, carbon fiber. So this is about the preparation by pan. In the large scale, uh, in the manufacturing process, uh, this is the flow chart, steps involved in the uh, manufacturing of uh, carbon fiber in large scale. Uh, so I told you this can be prepared by using a pan, pan acryl nitrile uh, polymer or a petroleum pitch, the base material, this is one way. Uh, but uh, in all the, only the uh, precursor is different, but the steps are same. First, the pan, the polymer is subjected to oxidative stabilization. Okay, Thermost, thermoset. This is at 200 to 300 degrees centigrade. In the presence of oxygen, it is heated. Here, the plastic uh, pan is converted to non plastic here because of cyclization. The nitrile group uh, starts forming a hexagonal ring. Then it is subjected to carbonization in an inert atmosphere at uh, about 1000 to 1400 degrees centigrade with controlled heating. So the dehydrogenation reaction takes place. Hydrogen escapes from this. And also hydrogen uh, acts as a reducing the environment. Here the percentage of carbon is increased. Therefore it is called carbonization. So then that carbonized pan starts uh, fusing horizontally in order to increase its tensile strength and all. And it, it forms uh, in the form of, it, it transforms in, into graphitic uh, shape that is called uh, graphitic carbon fiber. Okay, this happens at uh, 2000 to 2500 degrees centigrade. This is the final product of uh, that carbon fiber. So then that carbon fiber uh, surface is uh, treated. Uh, okay, uh, in a surface, it is subjected to surface treatment then it is washed with a suitable solvent then the surface is coated with the epoxy okay then it is uh, made in the form of fiber so this is how they manufacture uh, carbon fiber using pan even uh, the process is same even by using spin uh, petroleum pitch petroleum pitch is melted and it is drawn in the form of fibers and the remaining process is same so let us look at the applications of this uh, uh, carbon fiber Carbon fiber uh, used about 67% in industries and 17% uh, aerospace for aircraft applications as a polymer composite and uh, sports. Okay, this is actually the appearance of carbon fiber. Kevlar and glass, this is all actually made up of silica. They are also used. However, the carbon uh, fiber is uh, having very good properties compared to these two. So this is actual uh, carbon fiber. So this is an alloy wheel uh, made up of carbon fi uh, fiber because of its light weight and uh, high strength. And you can see in this uh, image, uh, the car, the parts, the outside part, the body part uh, covered to cover the engine and other parts, it's completely made up of carbon fiber because of its light weight and high strength. Even the Apple phone cover, uh, they have been made uh, using this carbon uh, fiber. This is all carbon fiber. Uh, uh, coating uh, given on uh, Apple iPhone. Look at this. This indicates uh, the image uh, that is shown here, the bicycle image, uh, this is uh, held by, uh, this is a small kid. This is representation how uh, this is representing how light uh, uh, that cycle is. It's actually completely made up of carbon fiber. It's a very high strength sports uh, cycle. It's made up of carbon fiber. And see, this is the, the body of this car is completely the alloy wheel is made up of carbon fiber. These are all the applications of this carbon fiber. And uh, according to Das, Tick and et al, they published uh, uh, the review paper on carbon fiber in advanced composites and hybrid materials in uh, last year. 
uh, they have given detailed explanation about the carbon fiber preparation and uh, properties and applications and in which they reported that uh, carbon fibers are used in textile and paper industries uh, airspace and aircraft uh, industries automobile parts civil engineering okay for construction of uh, and the pillars and all lightweight pillars high strength pillars sports equipment bicycles and all energy production uh, wind wheels uh, wind fans and all portable power sources and also acoustics the large number of applications you can find for uh, carbon fibers okay so with this i am concluding my discussion on carbon fiber uh, for any questions or clarifications uh, you can reach me through the mentioned email ids Thank you.